Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. I hope you're all well. Um, I'm, I'm good, thank you. It's been a long time since my last video. Let me just go and close the door, hang on. I get, I get self-conscious that Tim's gonna hear me talking to myself. <laughs> he knows I do the videos, but um, yeah, I get self-conscious. I've got a lot to show you because it's been such a long time. Um, I haven't wanted to make a video, I've been saying to myself I've got so much to show you and I need to make one but not being able to actually do it. Every weekend I sort of look at this pile of stuff all over my table here and thinking I've got to make the video just so I can clean up a bit but I've been stressed out at work. But good news is I got a new job, yay! Today was my last day at the old job. Um, I haven't said much about it here but um, I was very unhappy in the old job and my dog is sniffing at the door, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. Um, the new job is going to be good. The new job is um, cyber security um, for a pretty large company. Uh, so that'll be interesting. I'll be working in the operations center. I'll be doing um, rotating rosters, so there'll be some night shifts and afternoon shifts. Um, I'll actually get more days off per month, per six week sort of block of rotations. So it might actually end up in more stitching time, which is always a good thing. However, it's a big pay cut because I'm, go I'm going from being a s a systems engineer, a developer, um, that I know how to do and I, you know, I'd sort of started climbing up that ladder a little bit and I'm going right to the very bottom of the cybersecurity ladder, so um, it's a big pay cut. But it's okay, we can afford it, it's going to be okay. Um, luckily, I have a supportive husband. <laughs> um, it's going to be good, yes, and I'm just... So relieved that I never have to step foot in that last job again. Um, yeah, it, it was rough. It was rough and I'm glad it's over. Okay, let's get on to the fun stuff. Um, the stitching. Actually, I have some news I want to share with you before the stitching. So it's actually news about next year. I'm going to three pretty exciting things. First of all, um, I'm going to the Linen and the Threads Mirabilia Retreat in February. Um, can't remember the dates. It's in February, it's a weekend retreat um, in Terrigal, which is on the central coast, um, north of Sydney. And Nora will be there, Nora Corbett, the designer of Mirabilia. And yay, um, I'm really excited. I've heard that this is the last time she'll come out to Australia for a retreat. So I'm very glad that I got um, a spot. Karen just randomly re released three spots one day and someone, was it Ronnie? I think Ronnie messaged me and goes, Tash, there's a spot open. Um, so I got it and I was really happy. Um, the other thing I'm doing is another linen, linen and threads retreat and that'll be in November, I think. And that is with Paulette Stewart of Plum Street Samplers. Um, yeah, mum and I, mum is coming to that one with me. So we'll be doing that together. Again, it's on the central coast. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to have to stitch a, at least one Plum Street thing before then, I think. Um, I have a few in my stash, so I'll definitely have to at least start one before I go. <laughs> um, and the third thing I'm going to, this is the most exciting one, is Nashville Needlework Market. <gasps> I'm going to America. Um, I've been to America before, I used to live there. Um, but I'll be going over in March, yes March, <laughs> for the Nashville Needlework Market um, on behalf of my mum's shop. So if you don't know, my mum has a quilting shop. I used to have a card here that I would show you guys, but I don't. The name of the shop is Motif by Hand. Motif by Hand. Um, and you can find her on Etsy. Um, she sells mainly quilting fabric, but she's starting to move into cross stitch. Um, she actually wants me to start the cross stitch side of the business and um, she wants me to manage the cross stitch part and she'll do the quilting part. I'm still thinking about it. Um, I don't know if I want to do do that big time commitment and also I feel like it's a financial risk because I don't know if we have a big a big cross stitch um I don't know if there are enough people in Australia to support my cross stitch shop the one that I want to build um you know the one that carries Weeks and Gentle Arts and Plum Street and um doesn't carry you know easy takeaway kits for people to to learn on I don't know you know, and I, I, I want to be a distributor for Lakeside Linens and Picture This Plus 
and the good stuff, you know, but I don't know if there are enough people who are that into cross-stitch that they're going to pay for those sort of more premium type things. Anyway, anyway, I'm still thinking about it. In any case, I'm still going to Nashville. So super duper excited. Um, yeah. And I know that a lot of other people are going and I can't wait to meet everyone. Oh my gosh. If you're going, tell me so we can be best friends. Um, okay, I have some stuff to show you. Let's do the fun stuff. I've got FFOs and finishes. I've had so many starts and finishes. I've been gone for five weeks, I think. Um, but you've missed a lot. Um, I'll start with... Ah, I want a giveaway. I'll start with that. That's always fun. Check this out. What? Look at all that. Um, <laughs> so Belinda, Aussie Stitcher. Everyone knows Belinda. She had her giveaway for 2000 I think. Maybe it was 10000 I don't know. Everyone knows Belinda. I think it must have been 2000 um, But she had a giveaway, and the giveaway was for Seaside Kingdom. What? The chart. The out-of-print mirabilia. And <laughs> the embellishment pack. What? Yes. So I knew I was getting that. I couldn't believe I won. I mean, what are the chances? I was so happy. She must have had a lot of people enter. I'm... I'm absolutely stoked that I won. Um, but when, if, when I have kids, I'm stitching this. Embellishment pack. I mean, that's, that's brilliant. I just dropped part of the present. Um, she also sent me all these other things that I wasn't expecting to get, but oh my god. Um, Mill Hill kit, spring bouquet pins eight. It's a beehive! Isn't it cute? Isn't that cute? I love these Mill Hill kits. They stitch up so quickly and they just look adorable when they're done. So yeah, soon. Um, she sent me two gorgeous needle minders. I love these. I love these. I mean, they're not just needle minders. These are like the best needle minders. Look at those. So this one, you know, you can see a shell, a turtle and a sparkly sea star. And this one is like a unicorn seahorse. This one and it's clay and it's massive and I love them oh my gosh how can you give these away Belinda like I get you know I have nice things and I think I should give them to people oh they be but I just can't get rid of them because I want them myself I'm selfish um yeah oh my gosh I can't believe how cute they are so cute I love this I love these oh my gosh I haven't bought any needle minders this year I've had I've received a few as gifts so here's a couple more Oh, I can't, I can't get over those. And all of these silks, look at them. I've got Dinky Dyes Mango Tango. Uh, Dinky Dyes Yelling Up, which I think is a place in WA. God, those colours. Gorgeous. Uh, Dinky Dyes Ice, Mulberry Ice. Ooh, sorry, it is washing out a bit because I've got this bright light here. Oh, that's a bit... Nope, that's worse. Mulberry ice. No, I can't show you. Um, this one is 100% soy silk. The colour is acid green. From the Pure the pure Palette. Soy luster. Acid green, isn't that awesome? I have heard of the Pure Palette. A few people have just started... Black Sky from the Primitive Needle, I think. But Black Sky calls for the Pure Palette. I wonder if Acid Green is one of the colours. Because I have it. Anyway. I like it better with like that. Um, this is Fibalicious Scarlet. Oh, wow. Um, Northern... Ugh. NPI, Needlepoint Ink Silk, Northern Lights, Burnt Ember. That's super cool. I love this sort of red. This, these sort of reds are my favourite colour. Um, this is beautiful autumny reds. Valdani Quiet Fall. These are all silks. Every one of them. Holy cow. Oh, except the Valdani. The Valdani's cotton. And the last one is Needlepoint Ink Avocado Green. 333. No, Lot 333. Yep. Thank you, Belinda. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. Um, that was crazy generous of you. As if the initial giveaway wasn't generous enough, all the extra stuff you sent, I'm thrilled. I'm so excited and 
thank you so much it's very generous of you um and now i can put it all away because it's been sitting there for a long time i won this like straight after my last video or maybe even before my last video i can't remember um so i've been doing a lot of stitching i i hurt my neck <laughs> i was working on sarah brazier so I'll, sh I'll show you what i was doing working on sarah i'm sure i showed you this row this last row before I rolled it up um, but I'd started working on this next row coming down this border here and I think because I'm working down in this bottom corner and I'm like I'm hunching over and I've got this one arm coming up and I'm right down in the very corner I, I wrecked my neck um, I was in bed for a couple of days like trying not to move my head at all I was sort of stuck like this and try. so I thought well I can't I definitely can't get up and stitch so I thought I'm just gonna work on things I can do in hand so what I actually did was I worked on all my pay it forward gifts I've talked about pay it forward before if you don't remember that's where someone gave me a gift um, her name was Mel and she dyed some fabric and threads for me like hand dyed them just for me um, and that was wonderful and as part of that gift my job isn't to pay her back but my job is to pay it forward so I have to give five other people a gift or some kindness or a favor or something not a favor <laughs> I have to give five other people a gift or kindness or you know charity so something for five other people um, and then those five people are supposed to go and do something or make a gift for five other people so you know from Mel giving me one thing 25 people are going to get something and then each of those five people will give things to five other people it's like those old chain letters remember <laughs> so that's the idea um, I have four people who have already signed up for my pay it forward if you're interested leave me a comment below and I will also make something for you I have now made or stitched all of my pay it forward gifts I have fully finished three of them I'm looking at them they're right behind the camera there I fully finished three of them I still need to fully finish two of them one of them is like a two-part sort of gift um, if you are one of the people who's already said yes don't say yes again if you want to do it <laughs> um, what else did I do I also worked on my eight, uh, ATC for October which was mm, <laughs> which was cutesy that was the thing and it's done and it's been posted and it hasn't been received yet so I can't show you a picture um, I really actually need to do my pay it forward for this month yeah and the theme for this month is stitches choice um, and I know what I'm going to stitch and it won't take long so yes I will do that this week um, I do have one other FFO that I can show you it's not something that I start that I finished recently I finished this back in like January February something is this you might remember it is um, I think the the official title is in Russian but it translates to blueberry dessert um, but I just call it butt fairy because as you can see there's a fairy's butt sticking out of the jam um, this looks really weird because the frame the grain on the wood is slanted on the top and bottom so it looks like the frame is like skew if but it isn't it is actually square and if I hold it far away it looks fine um, so just a really basic like three dollar frame <laughs> it's hanging up in my pantry because that's where the fairy has been found I told my niece that um we set up a hidden camera and took a photo of the fairy eating the jam and now she gets shamed whenever she comes in the next thing I want to do is get a little fairy door and stick it just in the pantry um, yeah so I'm really happy with this I just think it's the cutest funniest thing in the world and just hanging it in the pantry no one really sees it because like you walk in the pantry this way and it's on the wall there so you don't see it unless you actually turn and look at it I just think it's super funny <laughs> um, I had a finish but not an FFO this is one of my Year of Whips finishes as well. This is Bella Butterfly by Nora Corbett and it's part of the Bella collection. I'm sure I've shown you these before, those ones. Um, so she is finished. Excuse me, I'm dropping things everywhere. <laughs> She's finished. Um, you just can't believe how many beads and bling are on her. Like, check that out. Yeah, she's really beautiful. Um, I stitched her skin one over one because I'm insane. I must be a masochist. Yeah, 
I mean, between the skin and the background on this, there is so much to do, so much stitching. It's crazy. Um, but she looks gorgeous and it's totally worth it. Totally worth the effort. Love it. Um, I don't know why I went on to finishes because I haven't shown you haul yet and I usually do that first. Why do I do haul first? Most people do haul last. Okay, well I'm doing haul now. Um, this isn't all the haul. I know that my floss and fabric of the month have already been put away. Um, oh, I also got issue 100 of Inspirations magazine, but there were no counted thread pieces in it to show you. It's all surface embroidery, so I just put it away. Um, I think there's other stuff that's been put away. Anyway, I will show you what I have got. Um, I did some eBay, shop eBay shopping. The Bay of Evil. <laughs> Who calls it the Bay of Evil? That is the best name. Um, except I love it. <laughs> um, I got two um, little by little charts. This one is the Pink House Sampler. And it says... If I am right, O oh, teach my heart, still in the right to stay. If I am wrong, thy grace impart to find a better way. CD, her work in the year of our Lord, 1995. And yeah, I, I like the verse on it. I don't know, I don't like the house. I don't know if I'll stitch the whole thing, but I do like the verse. I'm just collecting them, you know? I might never stitch them, but I'm collecting them because I love them. <laughs> this one I love, and I think I totally will stitch this. This is the Dutch sampler. Um, yes. Someone recently said I love designs that make good use of creative white space. This is an example of that. The reason this is striking is because of the white space. Must have been kitten stitching. She's very, she's a very intelligent lady and I agree with her. I love this. Gosh, I actually want to start this right now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> ah. Um, and the seller of these two charts watches my videos she gave me her business card that's her store um, and she said she loves my videos and she's working on peaceful paradise um, which is one that is in my to be stitched pile and she sent me a needle minder with a T because my name is Tash so there we go another needle minder <laughs> um, thank you thank you so much Teresa <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't prepare it's Teresa thank you Teresa um, I went to our local stitching group, you know, for a stitch in every, I think every third Saturday of the month, we go and have a stitch in for a couple of hours at the local craft shop. And someone there was giving away <laughs> Ava Rosenstein kits. Look, look, it's a kit. And she was just giving them away. I think there were four or six of them. Anyway, I took one and I thanked her profusely because how nice is this? They were talking about a time when, so it's a bird. Um, it's called Blue Tit 3. Blue Tit 3. Um, they were talking about a time when in Australia you couldn't get cross stitch. You had to order a way to... I think this is Danish. I think this is Danish. You had to write like a mail order to... Um, <laughs> Holland? <laughs> to Holland to get this and they'd send it back by the mail and it would come like this with, with the fabric and the threads and you'd stitch it and you wouldn't even know what the picture really looked like like you might have seen the picture in the catalogue but it, there's no picture with this this is all you get um, so so there we go I'm, I'm quite excited to have this really I've never stitched Ava Rosenstand I know that it, you know she's just a staple of cross stitching and so that's exciting and I don't know when I'll stitch it though. Gosh, it's a massive linen. It looks like huge. You can probably even see the, the holes. It's massive. Anyway, I don't care. I'm not fussy. Um, my mum went to Holland. Oh, gosh, I hope it's Holland. Danish, Dutch. God, please tell me it's Holland. <laughs> um, and she got me a present. Um, there we go. It's a cross stitch. It's a bird. It looks really weird in this picture. I can hardly tell what it's supposed to be. She said it looked very cute in person, so I'm just going to have to stitch it. Um, I, don't, I can't read that name. So if you want to Google it, you'll have to try and read that. <laughs> um, designed by Anne Walders. And it's called Fugubla. Fugubla. <laughs> um, and she also got me, I don't know where she got this from, 
somewhere in Europe <laughs> or America because she also went to New York and DC. Um, it's a little weaving kit, a tiny weeny little weaving kit. So there's a tiny little loom and then sort of, I guess that's the shuttle <laughs> and like a comb. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I need to try this. How weird is that? How good does it look? It looks great. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try it actually. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. It should be interesting at the least. Um, and I ordered from Kathy Barrick because some of her, everyone knows, but some of her charts were going out of print. They were on her Etsy store, so I had to buy a couple. Um, and she wrote me a note that says, thank you, Kathy. And I feel like, oh, Kathy Barrick has self wrote that. Holy cow. That's so cool. Um, there's only four. I got Multiplying Bird because I love how it's like spotty and stripy. <laughs> and... I love the fleur de lis. I actually really do love the multiplication background, so I might actually stitch this one, I think. I don't know when. Don't ask me. No time soon, that's for sure. Um, this is Hearts and... No, it's called Moon Dance. And I just love peacocks, that's why I got that. Letitia's not the only person who likes peacocks. Letitia's back. Letitia's back. Um, this one is Painted Wings. And love the I love this one it looks like a whole garden inside the butterfly's wings again who knows when I'll stitch it um, and this one this is called the crowned heart and I got it because I really like the verse I don't know if I'll stitch it as it is but I might use the verse on a different sampler at some point um, I pray that risen from the dead I may in glory stand a crown perhaps upon my head a needle in my hand I've never learned to sing or play so let no heart be mine from birth until my dying day, plain sewing's been my line. Plain sewing suits me fine. So, I, li I like the verse. It's cute. So thank you, Kathy Barrick. Always nice. <laughs> um, that's all the haul. Yep, that's all the haul. I mean, with the giveaway as well, it's a lot. So, I have made, like, a bunch of new starts. I've made a bit of progress on things. I'll show you. I'm already at 22 minutes. I'm worried that I'm going to run out of time. So I'll do it quickly. I have been working on my pro school alphabet. I'm working on these for Blackbird here. Um, there's a Blackbird. It's huge. I mean, these are just enormous. Enormous. There's so much stitching in them. There's like this... the ma There's a the massive um, bird uh, pie because it's Blackbird. 4 and 20 Blackbirds. Um, huge pie. It's just so much stitching. I mean, they're big. And this fabric is 27 count, so the stitches are big. And I'm stitching with two threads, which now I've, I'm such a snob. I hate two threads now. <laughs> it's so difficult. Um, that's a challenge. So it's not the most enjoyable stitch I've ever had. Let's just say that. But I'll persevere because this I, I want this to be like ridiculously massive. I want it to be a, like a quilt when it's done. So that's why I chose the big the big fabric and I think it looks cool um yeah I pulled out I had stitched this blue color in the A I pulled it out because you couldn't see the A it called for this red color actually it didn't call it called for a much darker red color to be stitched there but you couldn't see it at all I switched out the dark red for 221 that I've used here and I like it much better I was actually considering pulling it out and switching it for 355 but I've decided 221 is fine so that's the changes I made. And God, that's so big. It's actually difficult to work on because it's just so big. Um, I have been working on and a forest grew a lot. Um, don't know where you would have last seen. Probably somewhere around here. So everything north of that I've done. Um, I'm in the top half of the design now, so I'm officially over halfway, which is really good. I love this tree. This cute squirrel. I mean, it's so pretty. I love this. I love this. Um, if you don't know, I'm doing this as a stitch along with my mum and a few other people so they want to join too. However, I don't think anyone else is actually doing it. The, the terms of the stitch along are you do two motifs per week. Um, you know, if there are multiple of these little mushrooms, that counts as one motif. So last week I did all these mushrooms and that tree. And the week before I did this tree and those two tiny ones. So, um... 
So I think if at this rate, I should finish it toward the end of next year. Um, I'm more than halfway, yay! And I love it. It's one over two on 35 count something. It's cool, I love it. Um, new starts, I've made a few new starts. This one is Esther's Waves by Northern Expression Needleworks. It's a digital download. Um, I'm stitching on 36 count sand dune linens on Lakeside. And here's my progress so far. It is so sparkly. You just, you'll never see how pretty it is. Um, you'll never see the detail in these Jessica hearts here in the white band. I've run out of this white silk. I need to order more. Um, I'm stitching it to look like the ocean. This is actually going to be entered in our, our local fair. In Canberra we have a fair. Um, the, the, there's a theme. There's an open category and then there's also a theme. And the theme is wonderful water. And you can only enter things you've finished in the last year. Or since February. Because it's from February to February. Um, and I have, don't have anything water themed. So I thought I'll just stitch something. <laughs> so my idea was to start off with a sandy colour. And then the, the colour of the surf. And then the light blue. And then go down through darker blues and greens all the way down to the bottom. Which will be like navy. Like really dark. So I've chosen the colours. They look like that. There you go. They're all dinky dyes except one, except for the white, which is a needlepoint ink, which I've run out of. Um, so the top band is Cottesloe from Dinky Dyes. And I love stitching with Cottesloe because um, when I lived in Perth, when I went to boarding school there, um, my school was really close to Cottesloe Beach. We used to walk down to the beach in 10 minutes. Um, I spent a lot of time at Cot Beach and I love it. <laughs> we call it Cot. So Cottesloe is the sandy colour I used, and I think it just looks so good on this. The colours you're seeing are really good. Whenever I photograph this for Instagram, it looks awful. Um, the white is NPI 991B. It's just white. Um, this blue here is Dinky Dye's Mint Ice. And for each colour, I'm just using a, ma a sort of matching bead. Just to, just to eyeball it to find a nice matching bead colour. Um, yeah, so there are 11 rows, so I'm, I'll probably finish this row, probably not tonight because I have plans, but tomorrow for sure. There we go. I love this. I'm so proud of it. I just think it looks gorgeous. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, and hopefully it's good enough to be a prize winner. So, God, I really want you to see how sparkly it is ah, and how pretty these Jessica hearts are. Like, goodness. I just can't stop staring at it when I'm stitching. Yeah. So that was one new start. Um, I had a Halloween new start. You're sick of hearing about this. This is the way we ride. It's, it's the smallest start in the world. There it is. Just a bit of the house. That's the Wicked Witch. This fabric is um, Kitten Stitcher, Wabi Sabi Collection, um, Flea Market Brass, 40 count. And here are, here are the threads I'm doing it in. Um, I, I pulled some of the called for threads, but I didn't have most of them. So I've just pulled other sort of mostly Victorian motto threads from my stash. Um, I think they look really good. It's very sort of, the whole thing is very yellow, but I think it's going to look great. Um, the other start I had was Now and Then by The Primitive Hair. This was a Nashville market release last year. Um, that's her. <sighs> Sorry. You can get this as a download on the Primitive Hair um, on Etsy. And it looks like this. And I'm doing it just like this with the flap that you open up and you can see her skeleton on the inside. Um, like that. So what the bit you can see here is just a bit of her skirt there and a bit of the skeleton's leg. See? So yeah, I started this sometime in October. The fabric is 46 count, that's better, 46 count sampler khaki um, from X2 Design. It was one of my fabric of the month ones. Um, and I'm just using the cold for DMC. So yeah, I'm going quick because I'm at 29 minutes. Um, my plan, I have this week off before I start my new job. So my, I have basically nine days because two weekends and the whole week. So my plan is to spam you with videos. I'm going to make a new start every day. The first one is going to be this, my beloved's gift. 
because Nicola is doing a stitch along um, to teach us how to do reversible stitching because it's an important life skill, isn't it, Lindsay? Um, so I've got my yard of fabric here. I'm going to go and cut it up and dye it after this video. Dye half of it because apparently this color will be too light and the silks won't show up. So that'll be tomorrow's start if I can dye it tonight. Um, I might make a video later tonight and look at all my other things I'm kitted up and pick some starts together with you. Um, I'm rushing because I want to finish it before the video cuts off. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.